Well, welcome back to Carolina in the Morning on Fox. Wilmington Thursday is a time we set aside a little bit of time to talk to the members from the medical community. Dr. Heston Lamar here from New Hanover Regional Medical Center talking to us about March being, is it National Brain Trauma Awareness Month? Is that is that the hallmark card I'm going to get? I, I think you got it right. Something along, <laughs> along the lines of that. All right, Doc, Doc, I always relate it back to my family. I have young children. I have six-year-old children. When we talk about brain trauma in children or adults, what are some of the very common causes that we see resulting in this? It's all the things you'd normally think of. I mean, in, in the younger kids, like uh, you are mentioning, it's usually falls, you know, playgrounds or what have you at school. And uh, same thing in older adults. It usually falls because, uh, you know, as kids are running around and acting crazy, a lot of times as you get older, you know, you lose some of that coordination and you just fall sure. simply because of things like that. So that's the biggest thing. And then, as everyone would guess, in, uh, um, you know, 20 something in that range of uh, males, it's usually uh, more traumatic in terms of assaults, car accidents, yeah. and oftentimes, unfortunately, alcohol or drug related. Well, in, in traumas like you see, and I, I don't want to generalize, but it, can you do something as simple as the eye test uh, when, it, when there's early on where you think something might have happened? I mean, do you, it's for someone like myself, do you immediately look at pupils or what's what do you really want to focus on if if I'm in a car accident and someone suffers a head trauma? Right. Well, I mean, whether it's you know a, a car accident or um, you know on the sports field or with a child or, or an elderly person, you see people do that a lot, and sometimes it makes for good TV or or, or it looks good on the on the sidelines sure. you know, and they're checking their eyes, you know, everything's sure. okay. Uh, unfortunately, if someone has uh, pupillary irregularity, like one pupil is bigger than the other or not reactive, usually that's a later sign okay. of, of some really serious impending head trauma. Uh, so that's not something you would really expect to see right away unless something really catastrophic happened. What are the dangers? I mean, how quick can this really be a significant injury? Well, um, you know, it, it certainly can be a significant injury. Fortunately, the majority of traumatic brain injury we see are uh, mild, uh, you know, which more or less falls in the category of, you know, got your bell rung, or, you know, worse, you know, going into the area of concussion. And those are things that to be really careful about because in the past, um, we've, you know, been more kind of tough, especially in sports, where we say, you know, just, you know, get back out there, walk it off, that sort of thing. And that's the reason why kind of traumatic brain injury is more uh, on the radar these days, especially with a lot of high-profile athletes sure. that have had long-term cognitive problems later in life, where I don't know if it's really more of a problem these days, but it's much better recognized, you know, in getting that early treatment and avoiding overexerting yourself back on the sports field or at school or at work is yeah. important if you're showing you know, and, serious symptoms. And I know concussions that have been in the headlines so much, especially, you know, with women's sports, girls in soccer, you know, you can learn the development of the neck muscles just isn't there that the head can bounce around. And obviously this is something, if you feel that there, there's something and it, you need it looked at again, uh, this is always my tagline. Don't call me, don't email me, <laughs> Reference the people in the white coats. They have them for a reason. I don't have the medical degree. <laughs> don't email. I can't answer your emails. I can, I can pass you on and then get you to the right people, though. Doctor, I appreciate the time. My pleasure. Have a good morning here. Colin, what you got for the web?